there's something about the summer mornings that just feel so sacred and special to me. I've been sleeping in a lot later than normal. I've always been an early riser and I really, there is something special about waking up before the sun, but I just, for the sake of my hormones, like I feel so much better when I rise with the sun in the mornings. Now, at least here in Texas in the winter, sometimes it's like 7.30, like that's not realistic for me to sleep that long. But in the summertime right now, it's like 6, 6.30, and it just feels so good to like wake up with the sun. I don't know, I just like, ugh, ugh. Between my adrenal cocktail, like just replenishing my body and my adrenals that way in the morning, taking time for my quiet time, and then biking to the gym. I've been loving biking to the gym lately. I had a goal of riding 100 miles in the month of June, there's two more days in June as of today recording this and I hit 120 miles so I did that but it's just felt so good to be on my bike. I'm telling you if you have a bike and you live close enough it's perfect. It gets my heart rate moving, it gets my legs moving, it gets my blood pumping. By the time I arrive at the gym I feel warmed up. I don't feel like I have to like go hop on the treadmill for 10 minutes. I'm warmed and ready to go and then I get to bike back and I'm getting extra sunlight. It just perfection it's perfection it's been a really 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 sweet part of my days lately I'm really loving it but you guys know the morning routine doesn't end until I make some breakfast and matcha something so exciting are you kidding me like this, this packaging what the heck this is insane as you guys have seen I have been cooking I made my eggs in this morning I've been cooking with these caraway pots and pans I cannot tell you guys how much I love these pots and pans. So Caraway makes non-toxic, non-stick baking and cooking utensils products. So I have the entire pot and pan set that I've had for months now. When I say cashmere is 
I feel like he is like the biggest critic of anything to do with healthier alternatives. Anything that passes Cashmere's test, it, that is like a very strong testament to the product. Something about the Enneagram 8 in him or just being my husband. Anytime I try to introduce him to a healthier recipe, a cleaner product, especially in our home products, he's just very skeptical of the non-conventional alternatives. Cashmere loves these pots and pans. He like raves about them. He's telling everyone that they need them. Now, Caraway also, I didn't even realize this when I first got my pots and pans. They, I think that this is like newer to them, but they now have an entire bakeware line. I now have a matching set of a muffin tin. This is good. This is like a deep pan. We've got a cake pan. For years now, I've been using a lot of silicone in my baking products, so you've seen that in my Kitchen Essentials video. I have silicone muffin tins, and then I also use silicone baking mats. But because we've got some non-toxic goodness here, I'm hoping that this means I can cook more directly on these pans, and that might help with my crispiness factor. If I'm doing anything that I'm trying to get crispy, on the silicone, it just, it's not the same. So I'm really, really excited to test these out. Obviously I can't speak for the bakeware yet because I haven't tested it. I will totally keep you guys posted on my thoughts as I test these out, but I can give a full two hands up on the pots and pans set. I know that for sure. Like quite literally, I have used these pots and pans every single day for the last four or five months straight and they are in such incredible shape i'm just like so impressed they they're amazing they're amazing i don't want you to think if you see this and you're like molly i would never use that pinkish color in my kitchen they have <laughs> other colors as well i saw that they just launched a line that has gold instead of the silver which looks so stunning if you're like me and you have some gold hardware in your kitchen that would be a statement for sure. They have not paid me for this video, but they have given me a discount code to share with you guys if you wanna try their products. I know a lot of you have tried pots and pans since I shared them with you. You see me cook with them in every single vlog, like quite literally. You guys are loving it too, which makes me so happy. If you wanna detox your kitchen, this is really, really is a great option. I'll post the link for you below. <laughs> you guys my last video i'm really making an effort to turn my podcast off turn my audiobook off and like really be present with my food when i eat and i want to know have you started counting how many chews it takes to chew your food i don't know why when i said that thinking like how many licks does it take to get to the center of a tootsie pop is that how it goes Okay guys, I just drove about 35 minutes to my doctor's office just doing a checkup on my thyroid. But I was thinking, as I was driving out here and praying for this appointment, I was thinking about how I approach my health care um, to be an advocate for myself within my health care. And this is something I've shared a lot with clients and women that I've coached. Like, you have to learn how to advocate for yourself. I have a video where I shared a little bit about my health history, by no means my whole health story, but I shared about my gut health history and in that video I kind of share with you some experiences I had with doctors and just like being dismissed I just hear this so much from women especially women in my kill the yeast program it's a lot of women who have struggled for years with their health who are just like at the end of their ropes when it comes to finding r actual relief for their symptoms and most of the time women in my program have been kicked around from doctor to doctor and just dismissed and told them nothing is wrong with them and that it's all in their head. I have had plenty of those experiences myself. There's a few things I want you to know. Number one, you can fire a doctor. 
In fact, I would highly encourage you to continue to try new doctors until you find someone that you like and that you trust and that you feel comfortable with and that hears you and listens to you and doesn't dismiss you. When I first got diagnosed with Hashimoto's, it was after I went to multiple doctors who told me that nothing was wrong with me. And I knew that that wasn't the case and I knew I had to fight to find someone who was going to hear me out and who was willing to test additional things for me. You deserve to have a doctor who listens to you, who validates you. And, and it's important to know, like that doesn't just mean that you should walk into a doctor's office and they're just gonna tell you what you wanna hear, but you need to have someone that you feel like you can trust that doesn't just like spend five seconds with you and tell you nothing's wrong with you. Even if you are working within whatever healthcare you might have, we have insurance through my husband's employer. So trust me, I would love to go work with a million different holistic providers. Unfortunately, the truth is that most more functional holistic approach providers often don't work within the insurance system because a whole topic for another day but unfortunately our medical system our insurance system is just it's flawed let's just say that you have to you have to fight for that like i worked really hard to find someone who was within my insurance network who took my insurance who i could you know pay a copay to go see instead of paying a 300 dollars out of pocket visit expense to see. I was able to find within my medical insurance a nurse practitioner who is not like technically a functional doctor um, but she has trained under a functional provider and she's very open and educated in a lot of functional approaches so I know I know that probably most women that come to her with issues like mine um, want medication and they want to go the more conventional route but she is also very willing and open to talk with me about additional alternatives. I am willing to drive a few cities away to come see her because I really value her as a provider. She spends time with me, she listens to me, she asks me a lot of questions and Tip number two, if you get any labs done, before you come to your appointment, always request to get your lab report before you come. So I have my labs printed off before I come to an appointment. I am that patient who calls the doctor's office like six times to pester them to fax me my results because I want to have my labs before I come. I don't want to walk into a doctor's appointment with nothing. Like it is so important to me to get my labs back, to review them, to go over them, to see what's high, what's low, what my concerns are, to write out a list of questions, to do my own research and know what questions I have. I have to be in charge. I adore my doctor. I admire my doctor. I really value her. I need her to get prescriptions. I need her to get labs done through my insurance. But I don't just walk into my doctor's office expecting her to just tell me what to do. Like I want to ask her questions. I want to be a part of the process with her. And I know I'm not a normal patient. And I know that that's why some doctors don't like me as a patient because a lot of doctors want you to just come in. They want to be able to spend five minutes with you, write you a prescription or whatever and send you on your way. Of course, I am not saying that doctors don't care. I think all medical providers are heroes. I just think it's so important that you understand as a patient, you have to be your own advocate. I honestly, if you can't tell, I get very fired up about this. This is one of those topics that I could go off on. I probably could record an entire video just about like different ways to advocate for yourself within the healthcare system. If you guys want more tips in that area, let me know. But I hope, I hope that that's helpful and just a reminder, you deserve to have healthcare providers who you feel like you can trust and that's super important and you can fight until you find someone that you feel that way about. Let's go. You don't want me to just flip all? I don't want you to just flip them all. They're not stamped. So how do we, oh no. Like how are you supposed to actually roll this, babe? <laughs> First attempt. <laughs> That's not the prettiest spring roll I've ever seen. 
attempt numero dos. See what you got. Okay, spring rolls were not the prettiest, but they tasted great, super great. It's almost bedtime, so I'm gonna make us a shake to share. I've been struggling with waking up in the middle of the night lately, which is not normal for me. Like, I can tell, I think I'm starting to be able to notice when it's happening cyclically, like when it happens in my cycle for me. Definitely hormone related, um, but I noticed that if I have a protein rich bedtime snack before bed, seems to help, so we're gonna make a chocolate shake. <laughs> <laughs> 